Hello and welcome to Path Made Easy. Today's example is a squamous papilloma occurring on the soft palate within the oral cavity. So this is quite a straightforward pathology. Um, obviously within the oral cavity, the squamous cell papillomas that you see tend to be quite cauliflower-like and that's mirrored in the contour that we're seeing in this biopsy. So the mucosa is very folded and it has a marked papilliferous outline with these fronds of mucosa projecting outwards. The squamous papillomas within the oral cavity tend to have a white colour and again that's because we've got this excess keratin production where we have piles of keratin on top of these papillae. Another thing to notice is that the connective tissue cores supporting these papillae tend to be highly vascular so I can identify multiple small vessels and they tend to be quite congested with red blood cells as well. So squamous papillomas sometimes have superimposed candida infection where we'll find candidal organisms within the keratinized layers. In this particular example, there are no candida, but I mention it for completeness. Another thing to be aware of is that the epithelium associated with these papillomas can look slightly atypical. So if we look at this ruti peg here, the stratification of the epithelial cells is slightly jumbled and sometimes you might see one or two prominent mm -hmm. nuclei, but we would consider that to be reactive atypia um, rather than true dysplasia. So don't be put off if you see some atypical epithelial changes in those reti pegs because it tends to be um, reactive in nature. It's not uncommon as well to see foci of uh, inflammatory cells as well. So certainly in this case, we have multiple uh, lymphocytes and it looks like the occasional plasma cell as well. So this was an example of a squamous cell papilloma. It's a very common oral condition caused by typically HPV 6 and 11. If you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel, Path Made Easy. Thank you.